in this video, we're going to be unboxing my brand new Hello Kitty Barbie doll. And I honestly didn't even realize when it was actually gonna ship to me. I pre-ordered this a while ago and I got a box today and I opened it and there it was. It's wrapped in tissue paper. So first, let's take the tissue paper off. Oh my goodness! Look at the box! It's so cute! Oh, and you can see the doll on the side. And it's just white on the sides and on the bottom. Oh my gosh. And then, I guess you slide it out. And there she is! So I started shooting this video um, when I first got the doll earlier this week, but I was so sick, I was trying to get over a cold, I couldn't finish unboxing the video, I couldn't stop sneezing and coughing. So here I am, I'm starting to feel better, um, I'm not coughing or sneezing, so I can finish unboxing my Hello Kitty Barbie doll, which I have put off for days because I didn't want to do it without filming it. So first, let's look at the back of the box. You can never have too many friends. Hello Kitty and Barbie doll are the perfect friendship pairing. Barbie pays homage to Hello Kitty with a playful, super cute, and fashion forward look inspired by Hello Kitty's signature red bow. From the tiny bow buttons on her sweater to the embroidered bow details on her skirt, Barbie celebrates the charm and sweetness of Hello Kitty and infuses the essence of both beloved icons. So I'm gonna try to carefully remove her from the box without destroying it. And let's see how that goes. Here she is out of the box and I do love her face. I love her face paint. I love her red lips and her eyes. It's really, really pretty. I love her hairstyle and her little red bow. The hair isn't fantastic out of the packaging and it actually feels a little gross back here, but I think it's just some hair product. So if you maybe carefully just wet the ends um, staying away from the bow and there's really nothing there's no problems up here it's really just down here so I think just wetting the ends maybe dipping it in some hot water should get rid of all that stickiness um, and stiffness I think it just feels like hairspray or hair gel or something sweater is adorable it's snaps in the front it's got little bow detail on the snaps so cute um, the little Hello Kitty patch here. It's just like a screen print on the sweater, but again, really cute. She's got this little Hello Kitty bracelet. Her skirt is fantastic. It's got little embroidered patches on the top, and you can see of Hello Kitty and bows and a little flower and clouds, and it's just super, super cute. Uh, I wish the skirt went a little higher and was a little tighter around the waist. It is anchored in place by some attached sewn on underwear. I did point out that the sweater is snapped closed so it is removable and the skirt in the back is snapped at the waist and also is removable. Then we've got these adorable shoes with these little lace socks, very cute little gold buckle detail and then finally my favorite her Hello Kitty handbag which I adore I still have it banded to her hand but it's so cute it does open there's a little velcro closure you could put something in there it's got such fantastic detail with the little Hello Kitty kind of charms You've got a little Hello Kitty face and a bow, and then there's a bow here. It's the same bow as in her hair. It's just 
adorable and I love the detail it feels like you know faux leather and it's just perfect I mean really it's the reason I bought the doll I saw the little image of this and I was like I have to have this doll um, so now let's get to the doll herself and her body so her articulation is the normal five points you can move her at her neck her shoulder and her hip and that's it. Well, she's she's not like a made to move Barbie. Um, she's got some quirks. Her she's more like a statue, really. Her legs are permanently bent in this way, and her one ankle is turned in. And I don't know if that's the plastic being bent or if that's on purpose. And this foot is if she's in the middle of mid walk, which is actually a cute detail. I just don't particularly like how this one foot is bent in. It's kind of strange um her one arm is bent like so and her other is straight out one remark i want to make is and maybe you can't see it as well on camera but the seams on her arms are actually kind of pronounced compared to just the regular 9.99 barbies you can get at the store so i don't know if you can see that it's pretty obvious it's a little raised um, I thought it was strange because this is not an inexpensive Barbie. This is a collector Barbie. And I'll show you her accessories in a second. But uh, that just kind of bothered me. Now she did come with this stand, which has a little Hello Kitty top of head on it. And I assume it connects to her legs. So let's try doing that. But I have the problem with this stand that I had with my uh, couple of black label Barbies I've bought. It just pops right out. Um, unlike my Ever After High or Monster High stands, which click in and don't pop right out. She actually sits in it very easily. You just kind of lower in, and there she is. So that works. She also came with this little Hello Kitty. Hello. Uh, for some reason, there's a little black mark on the back of my Hello Kitty's head, but very cute. Finally, she came with this certificate of authenticity, and I think you saw in my time lapse how carefully I was unboxing this thing, and the certificate still ripped a little as I was taking it out. Um, it is a Barbie Signature Gold Label Barbie doll. Final thoughts, I think this doll is overall adorable. I love her outfit, I love her accessories, I love the packaging. Some people may want a more fully articulated doll, like uh, some of the black label Barbies have more articulation. But I think of her more as a statue sitting on a shelf and being beautiful. So she definitely suits that purpose. Uh, it kind of depends on what you're looking for for a doll.